So I want to talk a little bit about your rating system, and then I eventually want to talk about the critiques of it, et cetera. When you started to develop a rating system, I feel like what made you stand out so well is building the rating system that you have being a, and being able to back up. It's almost a science, right? Being able to back up. This is why I think it's this way. It's not just subjective, but really being able to kind of break it down. How did you come up with that and sort of, it's almost like an algorithm, but like, how did you build that out to sort of have that hard and swift system? Um, you know, it's, it's not anything like crazier. It's, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you know, I, I, I kind of just take two things into account when I'm trying to score a record overall. Like I will like literally average out my feelings on each individual track based on whether I loved it, hated it, or just kind of felt somewhere in between. And then I'll kind of, you know, again, just sort of like average those songs out, assuming that they're all about like kind of the same length and, you know, significance on the record. Um, Yep. You know, one kind of rare instance that you have to kind of take into special account recently, I was reviewing this new album from Richard Dawson, who's this, uh, you know, great singer songwriter, in my opinion. And the record starts with a 41 minute song. And then uh, <laughs> the the rest of the album is like six other normal size songs. <laughs> so it's, uh you know, kind of hard to like rate it in the same way <laughs> that you would any other album with just kind of like a standard length track list. But, um, you know, I just try to average out the tracks and then on top of it, I will just try to think about whatever is like kind of the overall album experience itself. You know, if there's anything to be sort of like gathered from looking at the record as a whole, um, which sometimes there is like in the case of Tupemba Butterfly. And sometimes, you know, there's not necessarily because there's lots of great records out there that are merely just kind of like collections of tracks, collections of songs that are all kind of maybe around in the same vibe or realm or whatever. And, um, you know, uh, I just try to take into account that, uh, you know, zero is essentially the bottom of the barrel. I couldn't have enjoyed it any less. 10 is the peak threshold of enjoyment. I couldn't possibly enjoy it anymore. I couldn't possibly think of something that would make the record better. Um, and you know, five is indifference five is indifference. Anything lower than five is disliking. Anything above five is enjoying and just trying to, you know, over time, um, you know, I'm, I'm not just sort of like scoring, you know, records anymore. I'm thinking about it, like in the kind of the grander scheme of my catalog, whenever I give something a seven or, or seven or an eight or whatever, I'm thinking like, did I enjoy it as much as I did these other records? Like if, if I could think of like, you know, dozens of others that are from relatively popular reviews that I've scored in the same realm. Um, and, you know, I, I often have to kind of double check myself like that. So I, I wouldn't call it subjective by any means. You know, it's really entirely based on my feelings. I mean, it does seem like it is very kind of calculated and it is, but it's just calculated based on my own personal opinions and experiences and perspective. Thanks for watching Visionaries on YouTube. For more content, please subscribe to the Overcome channel.